Hi, hello, welcome. My name is Steffi, and I decided once long ago that I wanted to cut up questions and put them in a bowl. My sister and Emily got the shrimps. And, <laughs> and ask my friends these random questions. And I've convinced my friend Jake to join me today. Jake? Do I do this one or this one? This one, that one. Hi guys! <laughs> <laughs> Taffy was like one of my first friends in this world. Well, I, <laughs> well we were at an event and I was like, oh my God, because I'm so ridiculous. I mean, I have the same disease as my mom, where like, my mom told me that she saw her friend at the supermarket, I think I told you. Yes. And, uh, and she went up to her friend and said hello, and she was like, and my friend's being so weird. And she got in the car, she was like, oh my God, that's the weather woman. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. She was like, that's not my friend. <laughs> so I saw you and I was like, oh my God, that's my friend. That's my friend Jay. Uh, that's what it felt like to me too. So I'm glad that that, because it was like, I was like, I went to this event like alone. Mm -hmm. Do you remember I was completely it's alone? It's the worst thing in the world to and go And I was alone. like, uh -huh. mommy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, I remember I was like, hello. And you said, oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah. I, I, said, and I, I was like, like, thank God. And I just followed you around like a puppy the whole and, night. Well, I made sure. I did this, I did the, I do this thing that my grandfather used to do where like he would grab like my shoulder uh -huh. and like walk me around. And I'd be like, I'm 27 years old. No, I needed that. Because I asked him like, why do you hold on? He's like, just in case you cross the street. I'm like, I'm not like this like child. Yeah. But I was like, I made sure. But do you remember how excited people were to see you? Like, I think it was. I think I was just so nervous. I couldn't even take it in. Yeah, and you had the next day. You had all these meetings. Oh yeah, and so I couldn't drink. You couldn't drink. That was another thing. Also, when you go to these events, you meet people who've been doing this for years, years and years and years, and they're like, oh, they know fucking everybody, yeah. and they don't care who sees them. Yeah. Fucked up. Where I'm like, I've been doing this for two days, and I don't care who sees me. <laughs> I was like, ah. I know. You're like, it's so nice to meet everybody. I must go. Yeah. It was like 11:30. Like I was like, okay, guys, I have to go. <laughs> have you seen the sound of music? A long time ago. What? Long yeah, time Yeah, me ago. too. I never watch it every Thursday. Um, <laughs> but it's like when the kids say goodbye, it's like, goodbye, farewell, Advita's energy. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's yeah. how you said it. You're like, goodbye to everybody. <laughs> and then as soon as you left, everyone was like, oh my God, he is so talented. And I was like, why oh! did you tell him? Tell my baby to his face. <laughs> yeah. You know, but another person that I did that to that, that same weekend was Reese. Uh, my and, but the thing is, is that you were so like business minded. We're like, not business minded, but like the people at TikTok, you were really forming relationships. Yeah. Where I looked at Reese and he was in the corner like. Yeah, that's Reese. <laughs> Reese is like, what's happening? And I, and I would come in, I'd be like, checking in on you. Are you good? And he was like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love him so much. So with this bowl, I love these shrimpies. I feel like Wait, they're, they're part so of the logo cute. now too. I love them. Thank you. Oh, you want to do it? I'll do the nails. I gorgeous. It. It's gorgeous. I fall asleep to ASMR every night. How? I go on the lives and I put my phone like this and I knock out. I'm sleeping on those lives. Yep, I'm sleeping. It's like reality TV. Yeah, it's perfect. The, have you been on the lives with the scammers who ask for money? Where they're like, no. okay, maybe it's my side of TikTok, uh -huh. but there are these people who like are like nail artists or whatever. Yes, I have seen these people. I didn't know they were scammers. Oh yeah, they send you an empty box. I. I'm obsessed with them. And they'll be like, come on guys, I really need like 20 bucks to eat and somebody will send them 500 bucks. And they're like, and they're, they'll get thousands of dollars. Thousands. And they don't send anything? Nothing. That's insane. I know, icon. That's kind of iconic. Icon. Who's, that, who's that guy in um, the Senate who was like a drag queen? And George Santos. George Santos, I feel like, he, <laughs> I need, I need a biopic. I need a lifetime movie and I need to be in it. It's hilarious. I yes. love him. What a good character. I, I forgot that he, that came out about him. Yeah, Who's Drag Queen? With his roommates, and his roommates were like, no. And he was like, no, I just really enjoyed costumes. I was like, you on stage for money? <laughs> Lip syncing for your life? I don't think so. Okay, so these questions are basically random questions um, where you pick one out and we talk about it. I do not encourage staying on topic because right. who are we, please? Right. And uh, yeah, we just talk about it and I go through like three or four of them. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah, so it's uh, and it's for you to answer first, and then we talk. Should I go? Know? Yeah, go go go. What is your destiny? This one. When's the last time you regretted kissing someone? Ah! <laughs> um. Every time I've ever kissed anybody. Like, <laughs> you know, I've. 
I've never been married, so like I'm excited to see what um, sleeping right. with a man would be. No, I'm just kidding. I <laughs> literally sometimes I was watching a movie with my mom the other day, and there was like a sex scene, and you know, like it can get so awkward. <sighs> I was in a place in my life where like I paused it, and I was like, "Can you imagine the touch of a man?" Oh and my, my mom God. was like, "I can't even imagine." I was like, "Can you imagine?" I could never. I could never. No, I mean, I would love. <laughs> sometimes I look around, so I'm like actively. I'm doing something that I think is like shooting me in the foot. I was gonna say shooting me up the ass. What the fuck? <laughs> like biting me in the ass. That's what it is. Thanks, guys. <laughs> but I, um, I was, I, I was trying not trying to date before, but like entertaining the idea. Uh -huh. But then I would get the like, hey, it's I'm gonna make up a name. Like, hey, it's Sam. And yeah. I'm like, Ugh! like I couldn't. Right. So I was like, maybe I should just like not look for dating and just like see if like, l like love comes to me. That's what everyone's saying to me. I have a date tonight, though. Wait, I know. Well, f first of all, that literally didn't work for me, so congratulations. No, I have, this is my first date in... Days. No, I want to say maybe like eight months, ten eight. months. I haven't been on a date since December 27th, 2021. Yeah, I haven't been on a date in a really, really long time. I only know because like the memory came up and I screenshot it. I was right. like, that would a course. good day. As one does. Yeah. And As I still does. had like pink hair. Yeah. I was like, oh my God. And I was still like depressed from like another breakup. So I was like, yeah. like glowing. Was, December like, 27th. December ingrained 20. in your mind. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, but I feel like now, last night, I saw this. Um, Actually, because my assistant was like, I'm just going to call her my friend because I hate that word. We work together, uh -huh. you know? Um, my work mommy, she, <laughs> she was like, I'm going to set you up with um, a matchmaker. And then she paused and she was like, it's an Orthodox Jewish. And I was like, no, <laughs> dude, no. She's like, no, but you, we're, we're going to find you a nice guy. And I was like, I asked her across the table, I was like, oh, you've seen, because she has my login. Uh -huh. I was like, you've seen that my DMs are so dry. Like, people don't believe me, but like, I no, literally. No, with mine. My, why? My dad was like, by the way, like, guys might start, like, reaching out to I you I thought now. you were, like, touching you. I mean, I wish. wish. <laughs> like, they might start reaching out to you now, like, you know, like, you know, just be careful. And I'm like, uh, I fucking wish. I wish like, somebody. I wish somebody was, I needed to be careful about. Please. Like, please. When people are, like, talking about their dating stories, and I'm like, well, I um, liked uh, Paul Mescal's uh, picture the other day. D didn't like any bad. Like, that's all yeah. I got. That's all I got. I, oh, I just can't. I can't. I can't do it either. I, there's nothing. I'm done with the dating apps. But I'm done with it all. I was watching a TikTok last night, and it was so weird because I think because Emily said uh, matchmaker uh -huh. that I got this on my For You page of this person saying how it was a stitch. And this one girl was like, I hate it when people say, like, when you tell people I'm taking a break from dating, they're like, that's right, the right one will come at the, at the time you least expect it. And he stitched it, and he was like, that's the worst advice. Yeah. That's the worst advice because... It makes women more passive, you uh -huh. know what I mean? Instead of like, for everything else in our lives, That's us so ladies, interesting. <laughs> us girls. I was in like, you'll just take what comes to you. Yeah, it's, okay. but ev in everything else in our lives, we're like, no, you know what right. I mean? Like, um, you, it's an interview process or whatever, or when it comes to like an opportunity, like you vet it out, right. you, you work hard for it. As you it. said with dating, Exactly, too. it's like yes. even what we do, like content creators, you put yourself out there, yes. you know what I mean? And then he was kind of talking to that, which was terrible to hear personally, <laughs> terrible. And so then I checked my stupid dating app and this dude asked me out. Are you going to see him? I don't know. I don't. Well, I'll let you know how mine goes tonight. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> and he was like, how long are you in LA for? And I was like, stop asking me personal questions. Oh, I just like can't with the com the conversation. Sometimes I'm like, I don't even care. I don't have like, any game. I, was I have no you. game either. You know, um, do you know Natalie Joy, Nick Vile's fiance? Yes. She is the sweetest baby in the world. And yesterday, the other, on Sunday, it was our mutual friend's birthday, so we got to hang out, and I love her. And I love when, like, 23-year-olds, like, vibe with me. I'm like, look at me, I still got it. Look yeah. Me. So she was telling me, we were talking about, like, dating or whatever, and she was like, yeah, I have a lot of game. I'm like, where did you get? I have no game. Game? I have no game. I, like, literally ask people to teach me, and Ooh. it doesn't work. I have no game. I don't know how to flirt. I don't know how to do anything. Like, I don't know how people do it. The only thing that I know how to do is, like... Boom, boom. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just know how to, like, I don't know. I cannot flirt to save my life. Like, gun to my head, I would not be able okay, to Okay, let's, um, can we animate, like, a like a lady in the tramp table? Oh, my okay. God, I, I can't okay. even. Okay, I'm... 
I'm usually the tramp, but I'll let you be the lady. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I'll let you be the tramp. Okay. Which one do you want to be, the lady or the, the tramp? The lady. You're the lady? Okay, you beautiful cocker spaniel. And yes. Then, and I'm like ragged, okay. Okay, so we're eating pasta. Okay, let's do the thing. <laughs> like, see, I would just be like, mm. So, okay. Um, so what do you do for fun? Like, smoke. Smoke. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, do you smoke a lot? Like probably three or four times a day. Are you high right now? No, no, I made it a point not to be. I woke up and I was like, not today. We're, we're it's so not a, fucking happening who today. Who are you talking to? We're on a date. Oh, <laughs> see, that's my thing. I talk to myself. You're like flea bag. And everyone's like, huh? I do the same thing too, where like I start a bit. Yes, I'm you know always I mean? doing a bit. Yeah, so, okay, back. Okay, mm -hmm. um, what are your hobbies? Um, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, watching TV mm -hmm. and spending time with my friends. And what TV are you watching? Yellow Jackets. I'm not actually a TV person. I'm not oh, a TV guy. Why? Well, I'm more like a, like, a, I, I enjoy, like, a, you know, rock climbing. I'm a rock climber and I love, and I actually, like, hate reality TV. Like, Housewives should be off TV. Mm. What a demon. <laughs> I would just be like, I would be like, all right, well, the date's going to end soon. But then you should say, I would love to show you oh, some see, good this, TV. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I treat it like improv, like, yes, and. Oh, you know okay. What I mean? It's actually great advice. Is life not a big yes, and? You know what I mean? Yes, true. You know what I mean? Unless they're like, do you want to come home with me? Most of the time, I'd probably be like, sure. Yeah, oh my God, good <laughs> for you. I just feel like I can't anymore. I know. And not that I ever have. It's just, you know, I feel like I'm just some, of course I have, but I just feel like I am the kind of person where I'm like, oh, he wants to watch a movie. That's perfect. I love movies. I'm 32 years old. <laughs> Who wants to watch a movie? Yes. Also, can we make it, like, now I'm going to take the tablecloth off the table and all the stuff comes, like, stays. <laughs> I love it. Like before, like I think Drew is the episode before you, uh -huh. and before you New York, and then uh, Dason is the one before. Yes. And she was saying that I like she got the same question, and she was like, I, she was like the kiss I regret is during Pride. I was really drunk and I was with my friend, and I thought that we kissed. And the next day, and she's like, I'm pretty sure we kissed. And the next day, I asked her, and she's like, No, we didn't kiss. And she's like, Why would you? want to not kiss me like why would you i would be so annoyed i would just be like mm. <laughs> <laughs> what do i do mm, that's good because i like didn't even want to kiss you so yeah like, like, like help me but also like why would you not want to kiss me right like that's just such an opener to like no but we should have oh my god let's flirt i when's the last time somebody flirted with you like hardcore where you were like even if you didn't want it hardcore flirted what have you i know you've gotten at least one or two dms from like even if they're like i don't count well, honestly, when this guy I slid into my DMs really nicely, because I used to do this thing where I would do prank calls. All the did you, did you did introduced you? me to that prank call guy, and Dylan. How funny is he? he is so, I want him to be on. The, we should. I should do a three. A three yes. Where well, he goes. Hi, my name is Awkward, like the fish. I have to have you back on with Dylan, and yes. we prank call. He is so goddamn fucking funny. He is funny. so fun. Oh, she delicious, but not like the fish. Yeah. No. What did she say? Charcut, cherry board, planet Jupiter. <laughs> Hi, my sweet baby. He, he is so funny. It's like, what are you saying? He my is, dad called me and was like, who is this guy? He's the funniest person I've ever seen. Wait, is your dad like online? Like, is he? Is me. So he watches you he like watches a proud papa? Stuff. Yes, but then sometimes they'll be like, you, like, I, for, like, I used to post, like, my, my parents aren't social media people, so I mm -hmm. used to post. As they shouldn't. As, be, as they I mean? weren't seeing yeah. it, mm -hmm. and now they, like, see it. Yeah. But I'm just like, whatever, like that you signed up for seeing this. Yeah, well, like, that's what I tell my mom. She, until I was a content creator, she was like, had no interest. And then she's like, oh yeah, like I had you, had my assistants follow you. I'm like, you asked for this. Yeah, like you, this is, this is like unnatural I was at you. dinner with my parents the other day and honestly, I was so high. I'm so sorry if they see <laughs> this, which they probably will. Not, yeah, and are they still in New York? No, they live in Eagle Rock okay. out here. Okay. I don't know if I can, whatever. Yeah, and okay. I'm like, <laughs> I'm sitting with them mm -hmm. and I'm sitting there and I'm like, and my mom's like, you know, like, weed causes schizophrenia. And I'm <laughs> what like, the fuck is and that? I looked at her and I was like, mom. I go, I don't want to hear that. She goes, well, it's true. It's not, it's and not I'm, true. They don't, A, don't know I'm high. B, I'm sitting there like, no, she said that she knows that you're high, babe. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. And I'm sitting there like, Ugh. 
because I have so many fears. Oh, and I'm, that is one of them. I'm full of fear. I'm full of fear and I have really niche fears. That is one of them. My other is for fear. Having patients. schizophrenia, having your brain turn on you. Yes. I have this it's fear. It's my number one fear. I have this fear that right now I'm in a coma because when things are going well, I'm like, it's impossible that things are going this well. It's obviously I my, always think that. my coma mind. Oh, okay. But I had a nightmare when I was in 10th grade uh -huh. that I woke up and I looked at my hands and they weren't my hands. Mm. And then, <laughs> don't disassociate, stay with me. Mm. And, then, and I woke up and a nurse came in and she was like, she's up, she's up. And um, two people came in and they were like, were your parents? And I said, no, and they're like, you've been in a coma for 13 years, you were in, in a car accident, but your brain needed to stay active, so it created a reality. And I said, no, my name is Tefi, uh, Estefania Pessoa, my, mom's, my mom is Maria Jose, her number is 305, Whoa, sorry guys. I'm sorry, mom. But her name, you know, like my brother, I have a dog named Droopy, Droopy Pessoa, that I can say. Rest in power, Droopy, I love you. But they were like, no. And, and I was like, then I want to go back, then I want to go back. And I made myself wake up, and I have no idea. If it was real or not. And I'm just... Anyway, what are your niche? Uh, <laughs> refrigerators. <laughs> refrigerators scare you? Because one time I was in high school, and I opened my friend's refrigerator, and it smelled really bad, like really bad like really, mm -hmm. really bad to mm -hmm. the point where I was like taken aback. Mm -hmm. Like something was alive. And it stuck with me. And now I cannot open refrigerators like without going like this. Like, yeah. So even if you're in an, let's I say- I can't open my to, own refrigerator. What if I can't we went to Yolanda parents. Hadid's house? We go to Yolanda Hadid. I'm sure her refrigerator would be But like, you would still be scared. Would you still go like this a little bit? Because if you're yes. like, And she would say, Oh She'd my. say, what are you doing? I'd say, I can't smell leftovers. Do you think I am stinky? No, I would just be like, because my num I have two, the fears coincide. I don't like, it's not I'm personal. a huge it's not leftover personal. guy. Uh -huh. I don't like when people eat them cold. I don't like food that's supposed to be hot that's cold. I don't know why. No. I, I think, think it's because my mom used to do it so much as a kid and it really just bugged me out. Yeah, like cold pizza. No. No. Like the no. hard, the hard. No. No, 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 no. no, no so no, that, no. like when I like open the mm -hmm. refrigerator, I'm like, and then like, so it, when I like, because I, I love leftovers, so when I take the leftovers out, I have to like just do it really fast and like throw it in the microwave because I hate cold food and I hate refrigerators. Yeah, but do you love like a frozen grape or a frozen Butterfinger? Sure! <laughs> they can be cold. They can be cold. Right. But like my leftover Thai cannot be cold. You know what it is about food for me? And I don't like leftovers either, but not even for a day. The thing that freaks me out about food, uh -huh. I have a lot of things about food as I get older. When, you were, when I was younger, uh -huh. you, get, you could give me hummus on a rock and uh -huh. I would eat it. Yeah, you know same. What I mean? But now as I get older, the idea that food's entire purpose from the moment it's done is to rot. Yeah. I like can't handle it. Oh, I never thought of it like Sorry. that. Sorry. <laughs> but it's like literally as I'm eating it, it's already a little rotted because it's been exposed to air. Oh my God, I didn't even think about that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> What's another fear that you have? I can tell you mine. Okay, refrigerators are a big fear. Schizophrenia. Uh, when you would go to the beach as a kid, uh -huh. did you ever go to Rockaway? And stuff like that? No. No. So in Miami, obviously, like you would go to the beach as much as you could. It, but it, then it kind of becomes like, like you don't go see the Statue of Liberty, you know right, what I mean? Like no. a, yeah. Or like Times Square. Right. So you kind of like don't go to the beach as much. But when you're a kid, you know, like early teens, it's like the best place to do, to make out with boys. Right, of you course. You know what I mean? So, and for other people to see, which is like the whole fucking point. Yeah. You know what I mean? So um, I remember one time, I was, I got my belly button pierced when I was, like the day I turned 18. And then I went to the beach with one of my friends and the lifeguard stopped me and he said, be careful cause barracudas love shiny things. See, I'm scared of stingrays. Oh, well. Like those bug me out. Well one, rest in peace, Steve Irwin. Two, did you see that girl that just got the barb through her foot on no. vacation? No. <laughs> and I'm really grateful I did it. She was like, she, because in the lower water where it's like mostly like where people will leave their kids, like like child, yeah. whatever, that's usually where it's the perfect right. for them. I used to shuffle my feet. Yeah, but that's... she was like, she didn't shuffle, she stepped on it and the barb went right through her foot and right out. What? I know, and what does that look, what? That reminds me of that Splice movie. Have you guys seen Splice? Yes, maybe yes. When, that... she, when she fuck, when the dad fucks the, the, the alien daughter. I did not see Splice. <laughs> <laughs> I did not see Splice. <laughs> ooh, ooh, it's Adrian Brody, and I'm like, Bleh! they basically like save this. They like put animal DNA and like or alien DNA, and they raise it, and then it falls in love with the dad. So it starts to like mimic the mom with like these huge yitters. Sorry, that's what my brother says. Is that cool? <laughs> Hooters, boobs, breasticles, breasticles, and they have these huge breasts. 
And like, that's all I remember as a kid being like, that is crazy. And then, did you fart? No. Oh. <laughs> that's, ex <laughs> that's exactly what people fart say. <laughs> But, but um, and then Adrian Brody, like... Love Adrian Brody. I love Adrian Brody, but then he is, like, they're having, they're in a bad marriage, so he, like, fucks his alien daughter. Mm. And to kill the mom, she has, like, this huge tail, and she goes, what is this? Splice? I think, honestly, I need to, you're looking it up. Can you read the bio? Yeah, I'm, when was it made? Because uh, I, I was right like, time. yes, it sounds familiar. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the daughter's like the daughter's like. Yeah. What, what year was it released? Uh, 2009. Yeah, I was 19. I have no excuses. I I definitely saw that. In that was years. during like my I would read Entertainment Weekly every day era. So like that's probably why I recognize the name. I really that's like my dream to be like on one of these shows, where I watched up growing like, Insider Edition. Yeah. Entertainment I Weekly. I did. Yeah. I or like um what else like uh, extra. You know I, mean? I wasn't an actor kid. I was a big, big, big Entertainment Weekly kid because we had this like magazine box in our mm -hmm. uh, house, and I would just like scour through it and like I like. They had a magazine. What? They had a magazine entertainment. I'm thinking about yeah. Entertainment Tonight. Oh no, I'm thinking <sighs> Entertainment Weekly yeah. is a magazine, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. so I would scour through it, and I would once like when I was like eight or seven, I found Entertainment Weekly, and I really liked pop culture, so I would scroll to that. I like went to the end. They had this thing called the Bullseye. And it was like the pop culture of the week. So that's how I got into Entertainment Weekly. Mm -hmm. And it just became my favorite magazine. So that's why I know all about like movies from that time. What's like a pivotal pop culture thing that you remember reading about in the back? Like, was it a breakup? Like for me, I remember where I was when I found out that Kristen Stewart was hooking up with that director. Oh my God, I remember that too. I remember where the fuck I was. I remember that too. But my thing was probably the Tiger Woods scandal. <gasps> Oh my god. That I come was probably from a golfing my thing. family and we used to wear like red polos. Yeah, that was my Actually I got my period. And I remember I remember Tell me. something what happened. I don't remember exactly. There was something about his wife and the car and him. Oh, do so you want to talk about it? I did a series on it. Yeah, I know what happened again? So basically she had already gone she went through his phone while he was in it was okay. Thanksgiving. It yes. was Thanksgiving. Okay. And she had already kind of been suspicious. And I'm giving like the spark right. notes, whatever. And she's, she was a Norwegian babysitter, but she kind of like, and she was a model. Yes, yes, yes. But she was, uh, she, she was been, she had been poached, like, people had been trying to date her for a long time, especially like in the golf scene, you right. know what I mean? And Tiger was the one that got her, you know? Yeah. And stunning, gorgeous, but he grew up with his dad, who was like a military dad, who was okay. like a Green Beret, do you know about Green Berets? Like mustard, like experimental, ga like vicious, like terrible. Okay, okay. Um, and, but very strict and, Tiger, his mother was beloved, like loved his mom, uh -huh. who was, I think, Thai. He's Thai, right? Um, right? Vietnamese, Thai. Damn it. Well, <laughs> they named him Tiger, right? Uh -huh. she, he grew up Buddhist. Okay. Um, and he uh, loved, beloved his mom, and he would f cheat on his mom. Like, his father would cheat on his mom in front of Tiger, and it really, no a way. lot of trauma. Like hit on women, take women home to their hotel where they shared, no, it was terrible. Like very, very abusive and also kind of taught Tiger like this is what men do. Interesting, So he has a lot that. of like resentment towards his father and I try to like talk about Tiger and like other people who suffer from addictions or vices right. as like something that like, like let's take a deeper look at it where it's not like yes what they did was fucked up and they're an asshole for it but let's kind of like unpack right. that yeah where we can kind of understand but not make it acceptable yes or like, not excuse it but not just like try it. to figure out where it came from and we are no one to hold tiger right. tiger uh i've almost said tiger king <laughs> tiger woods accountable like you know what yeah. i mean um i think that life will do that for right. people like themselves yes. life will happen to you regardless but basically she went through his phone and she started banging on the door and he came out and she chased him down and they were screaming yes. and he came out and he had already taken he has a hard time sleeping so he had already taken his ambien okay and so he was like and he oh was spinning God. and she was like hitting him and kicking yep, him yes. she beat the fuck out of him and like which i don't agree with but also I can see myself in that position, you know? And um, so he gets in the car and he tries to run, a, like drive away, but he's so fucked up that he drove right into a tree. Yep, and she that was took it. the clubs and, and she started yes. banging on the, and, yes. then, um, and then the neighbors came out and called the cops. You know that what I, mean? that I remember. That was the one pop culture thing I remember. And then probably the second 
Um, this is so random. I need a black eye. But for... I was watching, because I used to watch the VH1 music videos every morning. Oh my God, pop-up video. Yes. Mariah Carey was 16 hours late. Yes, <laughs> I used to watch it every morning. Mm -hmm. And Britney Spears' Womanizer, I think it either premiered on MTV or VH1. And I remember watching that for the first time ever. With her red Same with audience. Beyonce's uh, If I Were a Boy video. Oh my God. Yeah. I used to really like, that was like my She's thing. like a cop in that one, right? She's like a police Yeah, she was there. a cop and I remember being like, that's so cool. <laughs> I remember where it was um, um, Crazy in Love came out. She was uh -huh. 21. She was 21? She was 21 when that came out. Strutting in those stilettos. I was watching Homecoming the other night for the first time ever. I. I watch that going to sleep. I don't know. It's amazing. She's amazing. I mean. I listen to, I'll be getting to the money. Oh, the Everybody Every, Mad dance? And I'm like, yes. I love her so good. I forget what she does, but. Are you going to go to Renaissance? I really want to. I really want to. I've been seeing all these videos, and I'm like, fuck, I have to go. OK, let's do small violin noises. Can you ask somebody to take you, and I'll do it after you? I'll do it. I'll, we're going to do it audio-wise. You don't have to do it. Oh, OK. <laughs> Keep going. I'm gonna do it too. Can you somebody please take me and Jake to the Renaissance World Tour? And I'll go to Kansas Renaissance. I will go to any state. I will, I will go to any country. I will literally go to Provincetown. Just to see Heated Live. Oh my God, please. I would do, all, do you see her do it with all the microphones? Literally. Did you see that we wore the same dress? No. You didn't? Oh my God. You know the one with the gloves? Yes! The Loewe one. <laughs> I got it. Yes. Oh, we talked about it. Yes. We talked about it. Where I, and the store director, Nick, at Loewe, came up to me. Remember I introduced you to him? Yes, yes. And I said, he's not straight, he's married. You know yes, what I mean? Like yes. that's also a sexuality. Yeah. And that's a little joke. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> um, he came up to me and he was like, I hear I hear you and Beyonce have a lot in common. And I was like, you just gave me a gift. That I'm going to use for the rest for of my life. Ever. Ugh. Oh, I should pick another question. I forgot. Oopsies. <laughs> we're, we were just so into it. This is this is my Super Bowl. Okay, ready. Do you wear sunscreen? Be honest, you know you fucking don't. It's like me talking to me, literally. Well, okay. I have a thing about this. Okay, go on. I don't, but I like I don't wear it every day. Like I don't, I go out about my day and I like don't because I wear hats a lot and I'm not <clears> like <throat> basking in the sun. Mm -hmm. One time go when on. I was in, I want to say my senior year of high school, I think it was summer. Mm -hmm. I went, um, I went on vacation with my friend for the weekend. I think it was like Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. Got back, I was a little sunburnt. A little bit. A little. Keyword. A little. And so mm -hmm. I I suddenly am like, oh, like my back is kind of itching. Mm -hmm. Like my son, and my dad was like, yeah, that's normal. Your sunburn's gonna that's heal. That's normal. He was, he knew. Yeah, he was like, that's your, it's just itching. Like, you know, it's healing, like whatever. No. It's healing? I, I showered and I guess it activated something. No, that's when you can see the damage. And I, no, no, no. I started to feel like, like needles of itch, like go through my back. And I, and I Googled it. It was this thing called Devil's Itch. No, you guys. This was fucked <laughs> up. I took six Benadryl a day for four days straight. No, no, no. So you had an allergic reaction almost? To this, and I, but I was like to this, this like, like this. Like, I, I was like crying. Like, I, it was, and I couldn't do anything about it. And I was like putting stuff on it. It wasn't helping. So I would take two Benadryl every four hours. So just so I could sleep. Did you call the doctor? I would call my pediatrician. I think my, well, because you would look at my back and you'd be like, it's a little red, but we don't really know what the fuck you're talking about. Oh my God, so it was like tissue. Your so I, I have like a dating. fear of getting sunburned, so now I like lather the fuck up when I'm like basking out or I get a spray tan. Like a peanut butter baby, but in like sunscreen? Yes, in sunscreen. <laughs> like all over, and like my friends will spray me and I'll be like, that's not enough. But I, it was the worst five days. I, it was five, five days. Five days? It was, Did you take an oatmeal bath? Like everything, you tried no, everything. No, I, I, because okay. I was just like, all I want to do right now is sleep. Where did you go? Where did where were you sunburned? Like where did you get sunburned? My I, it was like in weird places on my back. But where were you? Where were you exposed to the sun? Like in like were you in Miami? Were I was you, in the Hamptons. I've never. No one's ever invited me to the Hamptons. But I, I, <laughs> I remember one. Ten going, years in New York. Going to the beach once. We went once, and I was like, I'm gonna get tan, and I laid out, and I was like, well, I'm a little burnt. You have to come with me to Miami so that uh -huh. I can teach you how to tan. People get way too eager. It's a slow tan. You have to be in in the sun for at least four days, under the umbrella. <clears throat> Not my spirit guides telling me to keep. Wait, this keep is so interesting. So like, you take a you you have like a 50 SPF. You use like one of those French labels, those fucking French people that know exactly what the fuck they're doing. And you put it all over your body. Well, and you, you know go, how tanning became popular, right? The French people. Yes. Wow. Uh, I don't know if this is true, so we'll it is fact true. check this. 
Coco Chanel came back from vacation, really like bronzed and tan, and mm -hmm. that's when it became trendy to be tan. Well, no one really brought it this year. Nobody. Oh, well, you know, I you know who I think brought it. Pedro Pascal. Yeah. Well, oh, what? Well, but he could like wear anything, and I'd be like, um, love you. But you know what it is to me? It's like Ashley Graham is is glamour. Uh huh. You know what I mean? Doja. But oh Doja yeah. Doja makes a performance out of it. That's you know what well. I that's mean? what I like about the Met Gala. I like the performances. I, feel I like, like we're gonna go next year. Oh my God! I mean, in a dream world. But like my favorite. Say it to the camera. We're gonna go next year. Hopefully. No. <laughs> <laughs> Please, mm -hmm. Anna. Uh -huh, please. <laughs> but mm -hmm. uh, my favorite Met Gala look of all time is probably um, Rihanna. No, the, the the big yellow ball the big gown. Big yellow ball gown. But I loved uh, the year they did camp, and I loved uh, when Lady Gaga was oh. doing all the changes. And she was climbing up with the and glasses she was, of and pink, and then it turns pink, and then it, I think that's my favorite. I, th I, you know, I, I, th I love Lady Gaga's kind of evolution, uh -huh. but she's always like the same bitch kind of, but I love, I kind of think about this like with the Kardashians too, where it's like, I understand, how do I say this? Like my cousin works in music and right. she's always telling me how it's hard for artists because they're so used to like marketing themselves constantly that they get to a point where they don't have to. And it's like foreign to them. They're in this space of like desperation, not desperation, but like always thinking about the next job, always yes, climbing, always. climbing. Yeah. Where like you could be, like we even saw it in the JLo documentary where she was like, when am I gonna be, um, when am I going to be considered? And my mom were like, what the fuck? You're J-Lo. You're J-Lo. The protagonist of Enough? Yeah, like, Pl you're, like you're J-Lo. You're J-Lo. You know what I mean? She's like, when am I going to like get my flowers, my dues? And I'm like, every day in this house you do. Yeah. What are you talking about? So I feel like um, when it comes to like the Kardashians, they're so used to like the hustle of uh -huh. like becoming famous that they don't understand maybe if they went away for a year and then came back with their like clothing lines, like their right. products, placements or whatever, it would explode. Right. And I feel like in order for the, like when nobody brings it, because we're so hyper-focused on like the drama or the possible right. drama, that we're not even looking at the, yeah. you know, like we're not looking at the aesthetic of it or the theme of it. We're just looking, how to explain it? We're always talking about what we don't like online and I hate that. Yeah, I like a lot of stuff. Yeah, I like a lot of stuff too. That's why uh, my friend's mom does this thing called an I love list. But I, I do it in the form of a playlist, but she, if mm -hmm. you're ever just like, oh, like if I'm just talking to you, I'm like, oh, like I love, um, I love blah, blah, blah. I'd be like, oh, I'd write it down on my I love list. Just like subconsciously things you yeah. say you love. So I do that with music. So I have a playlist called I Love. And it's just like, if Louise will play a song in the car and I'm like, God, I love this song. I'll just be like, oh, and Put I'll take on. my phone out and I'll add it. And then it's just like songs I love. That is, that's so important to like, because yeah. it's kind of like, the more you talk about shit that you hate, the more that you talk about people that you don't like or whatever, it's kind of like when you see an ex's car everywhere. Yeah. Fucking loser. <laughs> like I want to see a Nissan Altima all the time, loser. But, <laughs> but I feel like uh, when it comes to like the Met Gala too, or like other celebrity like award shows, like I loved award shows growing up. Oh my God, you are you, they like are my bread and butter. You know, and now it's like, all everybody wants to talk about like what's fucked up, what could have been better. And I'm right. like, what if we just, Enjoyed. Enjoyed. Yeah. Because everybody says that it was so iconic when Britney and Madonna kissed. But I fear, ladies and gentlemen, that if we did it today, everyone would be like, PR, PR, PR. Of course it's PR. Yeah. It's fantastic PR. Yeah. It's where PR should be. PR, used, PR back in like the early 2000s was so much Mess. more. People are, no, but people are like, oh my God, I love the 2000s, I love the 2000s, like this, that. It was so iconic that like, I'm like, well, a lot of it was PR. Like, as a, I was a PR major in college, so like, I'm like aware, like, like, um, like, you know the the shot of Paris, oh, Lindsay, and yes. Britney? That was mm -hmm. PR. Yeah. Because Lindsay and Paris were fighting at the yeah. time. And I, I think, don't quote me on this, but I think they had the same publicist. And I think he wanted them to, like, publicly be fine. So he, like, like was like, go. Like, you can see him in the back of the video. Be like, go, Lindsay. He's but a people, famous guy. You've seen him in, like, yeah, every paparazzi. Elliot. Yeah, something like that. Something yeah. Something like that. But he, but a lot of it's PR. And a lot of it, we kind of just have to be like, all right, like, it's fun. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. Also... I think when it came to tabloids and stuff like that, like now online, especially because like we both are so involved in like pop culture, yeah. you know what I mean? For what we have to do, we have to be like current, you know? Like, yeah. You know? So uh, now people are like icons. Everybody treated uh, Lindsay Lohan poorly. I'm like, you motherfuckers. You did. did. Oh, I will defend Lindsay Lohan till the day I die. She, till the day I, Lindsay Lohan's like 
my all time. I will. I've said. I said it during. Yeah. I said it growing up. I was like, I like. I don't understand. Because I would go to the movies to see everything. Like, what was it? Kirby the stripper fully, one. I love fully too. loaded. Oh, um, I know who killed me. I know who killed me. Yes, I I'm like it, a big Lindsay Lohan. I fan. saw it in theaters. I thought there was gonna be a line. I saw it in theaters in 2007. I was the only one in that theater. Lindsay, it was me and Lindsay. I was like, yeah, girl. Talk about someone needing to get her flowers. Lindsay Truly. Lohan. But I think also it's so unfair. Um, daughter to father, that like, yes, I'm yes. sick of room. Like, yeah. she was so multi talented in, like, despite, in spite of her parents being messes. Messes. Michael, do you watch Real Housewives of Atlanta? No. I used to. I watched when I was like 10, so uh -huh. I watched like during like, the needy days. <laughs> Yeah. Well, do you remember when um, Michael Lohan came out with Kim Zolciak? No. And Nene was like, what are you doing here, Lindsay Lohan daddy? Go back to Malibu, Lindsay Lohan daddy. What? Yo, yeah. Crossover of my dreams. That's crazy. I just uh -huh. felt bad for Lindsay Lohan because... Because of everything. Because of everything. And also, like, I'm the type, I'm like a mama's boy in the sense that, like, whatever my mom likes, like, all, like, think it's, like, yeah, the, the best. holy grail. Yeah. So, like, my mom was always growing up, was always like, that Lindsay Lohan is so talented. She, she is. She's so talented. She's so talented. Parent She's trap. so talented. I've seen Parent Trap, like, 40 times. Mean Girls, like, 40 times. Freaky Friday. Like, I, she is such, her presence in front of the camera is, like, I, is. She's a cancer. Oh, Jul really? July 6th, I think. Am I okay? But I, I, you guys, I was such a big Lindsay Lohan fan. Like, I don't mm -hmm. know if you remember when she came out with that special with Oprah on yeah. the own network. I watched 10 weekly. to 15 times. Every single week I watched it with you. Yeah, Coke. <laughs> she was like, I've only done Coke like 10 to 15. I was like, girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I remember being like, <gasps> like, I know, I know. But I was like, still love you. Yeah, slay. Because I, Coach, also, that was such a, people should go back and watch that because it was a really raw documentary. And she, I remember when she um, was like in her hoarder era too with yep. Oprah. I, yeah. Yep. I, I, yes. I remember that. I'm a big Lohan. Do you have a favorite Oprah episode? I do. I didn't watch much. Oh, mm, mm, probably the Lindsay Lohan one, honestly. Mine is the chimpanzee. The chimpanzee one. I don't think I've seen it. Oh my god. I think I brought this up the other day too, the chimpanzee. No? Well, there was this chimpanzee that people had. I've never heard a good thing about a chimpanzee. Keep them in the, keep them in the jungle, you know, keep them rehabilitated really, in the zoo. Really? I feel like people are friends with them. No, because they have the strength of like five men. Yes, okay. You know what I mean? Yes, okay. And Bubbles was like Michael Jackson's chimpanzee, you know uh -huh. what I mean? And they, um, and, and he was always in overalls. I never have to see any animal in, in clothes, but basically they, this yeah. chimpanzee got really territorial and rip this woman's face off. I know the story. Thank you. And yes. she, now she talks like in a beekeeper, it's like a beekeeper cloth or something, mm. but like obviously, but she was the first successful face transplant in the world. Wait, I think I, I saw think. this on TikTok the other day. Probably because they do this. Did it show up on your TikTok the other day? Yes. And what movie are you watching on TikTok right now? Right now for me, it's The Intern. Wait, I don't watch movies on TikTok. Everyone's like, why don't you watch movies on TikTok? I'm like, I just, I don't. Did, you, I, did you fart again? <laughs> I know. That was coming from down there. Yeah. <laughs> I watch movies on TikTok yes. outside, but yes, yes. <laughs> you just have to time it right. You know what I mean? Got you. I have a brother. <laughs> Men are disgusting. I had pink eye once for, uh, right before my homecoming because my brother woke me up with a fart. No, and he gave you pink eye? Yeah, of course I did. He's disgusting. He's vile. Oh, that's horrible. Love you, though, little brother. Love you. <laughs> Esteban. <clears throat> and my brother was named after me. My name is Estefania. And one time he texted me. What's your brother's name? Esteban. It's oh. Stephanie and Steven. And then he was like, Oh, can I email you something? Like, uh, can you print out something for me? And I said, yeah, email me. And he's like, what's your email? I'm like, first name, dot last name. And he was like, I keep getting mailer demon. Like, it keeps bouncing back. And I was like, why? It's, it's first name, dot last name at Gmail. And he goes, I know, Teffy dot Piso. He's like 15, by the way. Oh, OK. And I was like, no, it's my first name. And he was quiet. And I was like, do you know what my fucking name is? No way. Uh, you were named after me. That's insane. What the fuck is wrong with That's you? That's insane. I know. Well, he also thought he was born in 1995 for a long oh, time. Okay. He's 1996. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. One time he asked me how to spell dolphin, and I was like, I can't fucking talk to you right now. Do you, Do you know it? Yes, you know okay. It. You know it, you know it. Not to worry. Not to worry, we got it. We I know dolphin. It. Wait, take another, take another. Okay. All right. I'm so excited. So oh, the written one. ones are from past guests. Okay. Ooh! Do you fear death? <laughs> Charles gets, that's from Charles. Or see it as a welcome relief. No, I find it terrifying. You find death terrifying? I find it, I can't think about it. Well, I did say this in the last one too. Serena Kerrigan also uh -huh. got, um, got that one. And she said something really profound where she said, I don't fear death, I just don't want it to happen right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Well, my thing is like, 
maybe because I'm on meds, what I've learned. I love meds. You mm. love. I'm getting biggest a, proponent. I'm getting a rig um, that says Wellbutrin on it. Yeah, I'm Prozac mm -hmm. early. Mm -hmm. Yay! And, yay! Mm -hmm. and so my thing is I'm able to kind of just like, I think it's important to like live in the moment. Like I feel like most of my life I have it. I've always thought about like the next thing. And I think given with everything that's happened in the past few months with me, like, it's like I've been like actively trying to just be like, oh my God, like look what's happened. Yeah, yeah, look yeah. Look what's happened. Yeah. Like don't think about tomorrow. Just yeah. think about right now, like what you're doing. But like it's so, it's so hard. hard. It's harder than it looks. Yeah, I think something I'm like struggling with right now is I am someone who I didn't understand what intellectualizing my feelings was, where instead of feeling them, I call it like tagging. Yeah. Like when you tag an animal. It's like I, I know that sadness, and then for me, my whole life, I was like, okay, now go. It's like when you tag, when you tranquilize an animal and you tag it, and then you let it go back yeah. into the wild. I didn't understand that I had to let that like in my house. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, I can't. So it's hard for me, especially when you're going through moments of my, maybe my personal life isn't great, but my professional life is going places, right? right? So that's kind of the way that I would. Like maybe like loneliness, like we're all like lonely, you know what yeah. I mean? Um, have you read All the Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss? Yes. I give that book to all of my friends whenever, I have 20 copies in my house just in case they need it. It's one of the best books ever besides Dr. Seuss leaving his wife and five, children's, five children when she was diagnosed with cancer and marrying um, a child. The but shit you find out about these people is I like Google sometimes actually will be illegal. crazy. Why can't I just like one person? No, I, mm -hmm. yeah, it's crazy. So, but it's a beautiful book because it says, um, and sometimes you'll be alone, so alone, and you'll lose at games too, lose at games uh, uh, because it'll be you versus you. You oh, know, wow. something like that. I definitely butchered it, but it's beautiful, yeah. you know? And it uh, talks about like all the noise and then also like feeling alone too. And I think sometimes in, the, in what we do, there are moments where you get used to things happening. So the idea of like a lull or like, you, yes. get, you get used to, I guess if you had, let's say if you had $5 every day, right. and then one day you had $1, even though it's more than zero, and you're like, I should be grateful, right. you still would love to get back to like $5, you know well, what I mean? Well, for me, what that, what I, like, after like, when, okay, because mm -hmm. really what happened with my TikTok is like, it kind of like, hap it felt like, like I've been doing it for so long, but it felt like everyone kind of saw it overnight. Mm -hmm. And then, so when there's like a lull in that, TikTok feels so fleeting in like the sense that you're like grasping onto like a really wet pole mm -hmm. that you're just like slipping from. Mm -hmm. So like when you're in a lull, it feels like you've slept, like you've slipped. Mm -hmm. And it's like, and honestly, honestly, I was texting Alex about this yesterday because mm -hmm. I was like, I feel like you understand just because like obviously what happened to her was on such a bigger level, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. like it still happened. She honestly gave me great advice and was like, yeah, I used to feel the same way. Like you just have to like, it's all about like finding like, okay, like I used to do this mm -hmm. and be happy doing it with, with 30 people, with 30 people yeah. watching. Literally. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna act like 30 people mm -hmm. are still watching and if it all goes to shit, then maybe yeah. I wasn't. I think also for, <laughs> I think also for me, I think about it in a way where I'm trying to do this for the long game. Yeah. I'm in a marathon right now. Yes. You know what I mean? So I'm trying to be like you. I was literally telling your publicist, hey, Trixie. <laughs> I was literally up, like, to me, like, you're like a Matt Damon to me. You know what I mean? Really? In my mind, of course. But also, I think there was a time in Matt Damon's career where we didn't know how funny he was. Yeah. Now we know that he's really funny, yeah. you know? And he also met a Latina bartender in Miami Beach, and they've been married for like 30 years. People who love Latinos, we love you too. <laughs> But like, um, he is so funny and I feel like, I was talking to your publicist about it too, like I see you um, doing something for so long that the lulls, if you ever feel like you're in a lull, um, I would love for you to adopt it as a way where it's like, oh, I'm in a quiet spot right now so I can um, be more creative, I can journal more, I can brainstorm, I can have meetings with studios, I can re-strategize or I can sit with myself uh -huh. and go get drunk with my friends. Yes, that's what that's what, you know I, what I, mean? I did. Yeah. Wait, that's great, thank you. But you're not in a lull yet. I know, but it, but my <laughs> well, the not, way my brain works is like are. anything remotely quiet, I'm like, I'm in a lull. Mm -hmm. And like, the, what I was really in a funk last week and I was like the only, and I mm -hmm. like really didn't, I just kind of chilled for a second and I spent a lot of time with my best friend Julia, mm -hmm. just like did us I meet two. Her? Yes. yes, how lovely is she? She's so sweet. Yeah. She's, I remember we were talking about uh, ast astrology with um, that person that has the same astrology as yes. me. And uh, I was like, oh my God, you're like my sister. She's like, I'm 19, how old are you? I'm like, 
oh my God, you're like my sister. Yeah. Fuck my life. And I think she's like 19 at uh -huh. most. And then I heard your best friend being like, I'm a Leo rising, anybody a Leo rising? And nobody responded. And I thought about it that whole night where I was like, why didn't I look at her? And <laughs> like be like, I hear you, oh. my Leo rising Julia. But yes, you were talking to Julia about it. And mm -hmm. like, she was just kind of like, put your phone down, like let's watch TV, like let's get high, like mm -hmm. let's go out to dinner. So we just like spent the week together and like the weekend and I felt more like myself again. Cause like really like it all kind of started with me and my friends. So mm -hmm. whenever I feel like I'm in a lull, I just go back to my friends. Yeah. I just go back yeah. to like my friends, sans my phone yeah. or I try to and just be like live in the moment with my friends. Cause like I'm funniest when I'm with the people I love. That's like what everybody says too. It's like if you need material, um, what do they call it? I'm like trying to put together a book of essays. It's going terribly um, because I keep comparing myself to David Sedaris. If you don't uh -huh. know who that is, you do. Mm -hmm. no, well, it's an art. It's an author that you would love. Okay. Um, he's he has like seven books. Are hysterical. He's like a, a very very gay feminine uh, man that grew up in Long Island in the 50s to a Greek oh, traditional family. So funny, like literally on the plane, cry laughing. Yeah. But I keep comparing it to him, so it's like I'm never gonna do anything. But anyway, I'm like writing a book right now and I was talking to my literary agent and I was telling him, I just, I just feel like I put so much pressure and he's like, the 90% of the writing process is not writing. Yeah. So it's like, that's part of the creative process yeah. too. But also, I don't think you see yourself the way that like we see you and I try to remember that about me too. Yeah. Where I couldn't believe that people said yes to do the show with me. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, I have the really bad imposter. I think I was telling you this the first yeah. night we met. I was mm -hmm. like, I have really bad imposter syndrome. Like I like don't like it's like it's like you're like I don't feel. I mean, especially when you get like thrown into this kind of, mm -hmm. you're kind of like, mm -hmm. oh my god, because it in when you're on the outside like this, like the whole world of like mm -hmm. Hollywood and like all like the press and this like it feels like like behind like a bulletproof glass that you can't touch yeah. or you can't get in. Yeah. And then when you're there, you're kind of like, wait, am I actually here right now? Yeah. Like, what am I doing? I think you just have to define what success means to you. Yeah. And it can't be about um, people in your industry either liking you yeah. or being invited to parties. Yeah. Because we've been to a lot of parties where nothing happens. Right. But we can say that we've been at just like, and that night I could have stayed home and made content, but those relationships are important, my publicist, but those relationships <laughs> are really important. But I'm saying like, I think for me, success for me would mean, I really want to have my own like performing arts center. That's I want to, thank you. So I looked into it, a lot of cash. Yeah, I'm <laughs> but, sure. But um, I also want to have a scholarship in my mm -hmm. grandfather's name, because he was a golfer. Right. I was going to tell you, I got my period once at Tiger Woods, because in Florida, we would go watch the PGA uh -huh, Tour. Yeah. And I got my period once, and I told my grandfather, so he put a towel on the grass. Uh huh. And you were watching Tiger I'm a Woods. person, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I can't believe this is the, uh, like not, uh, not going home is not an option. Yeah. But in me sitting on a towel, like a puppy. Yeah. Is, but That's I, insane. I, and I wrapped it around my waist to go to his car. I was Aww. like, I, I love him, I love you abuelito, but that was like a little not cool. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But like I would love to build a scholarship in my grandfather's name for like a golf scholarship. Right. And then I also want to be, I think we have to like start saying it. I want to be in movies. Uh, yeah, that was difficult. That was really difficult for me at first because I, I, I've always wanted to act. And you so told I, me this. Yes, I'm an actor. I, I, I've, mm -hmm. I've acted as a kid. I, I've always wanted to act. I was just always too scared to pursue it. So the thing that I'm like struggling with is mm -hmm. like going into rooms and being like, I really want to act without because I'm so receptive to what others think of me. Like yeah. I'm so always have been, always will be. Like I can yeah. read your face like a book. Like I like I just like I'm so. I'm always so scared of people laughing at me and not with me. Yeah. Even though, like, I guess I enjoy both. But, I, I, like, when I'm saying something I'm passionate about, I'm so scared of people laughing at me. Uh-huh. For the wrong, when you're yeah, not trying to do that. When I'm not that. trying to be mm -hmm, funny. Mm -hmm. And I, I've just, I've been, like, working on being, like, no, I want to do this. Like, I have my first, um, like, group comedy intensive class tomorrow. It's five hours long. Oh, my God. Yeah. You know, I've been dying to start, like, acting classes and stuff. But you know the biggest mistake I made that you, like, and you just said it? I waited for people to tell me, why don't you do just scripted stuff? I'd never said it until, and then when I did, I was like, I've actually, I actually would love to do that. Yeah, I've been trying you know? to say it. I've been trying to like. And it feels so yeah. terrible. And then they're like, oh, okay. 
Yeah. Because you think that they're going to be like, really? You just have to have confidence in yourself and like, no, I want to do that. And if you don't take me seriously, then I'll leave. And then they'll be like, wait, why are you leaving? I know. And it's like, well, you, you didn't take me seriously. You didn't take me seriously. Yeah, yeah, but I don't think there's ever... Think, who's, a, who's an actor that you look up to? Mm, okay. Probably Timothy Chalamet. I literally brought that up to your publicist today. Really? I said he's probably going to be the Leonardo DiCaprio of our time. He's, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, he is. He mm -hmm. is. Or like a River Phoenix, which yeah. is really hard for me to say. He but. is. Uh, Timothy Chalamet. Mm -hmm. um, who else do I look up to? Hmm. There are, I need, I, I, oh, um, I love Maya Rudolph and Kristen Wiig. Oh, I know, my God. like, those are like my, like, I and it's not me, it's Miss Iglesias. Yes, like those are like my two, like I remember watching Bridesmaids when I was like 11 in the theaters with my dad mm -hmm. and being like, oh my God, this is amazing. Well, how old are you? Uh, uh, I mean, what year were you 11? Because I was 11 when the, when the planes hit the towers. Oh, I was one. You were what? You I were was one? one? I was one for that. That's actually my dating cutoff too. It's like, where were you for 9-11? Yeah. And they're like, oh, I was a baby. I was like, I cannot yeah. put away your... Pre-pubescent child. Yeah, yes, Please. yes. I'm like, okay, one kiss. Okay, leave me alone. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But yeah. But I look up to Timothy Chalamet. I look up to, I'm trying to think of like. I can see you doing Adrian Brody. I can oh, see I, you I do love stuff. Adrian Brody. I could see you doing, what's that movie about the war, the German, uh, uh, Quiet on the Western Front? I don't think I've seen that one. You haven't? It's horrifying. I mean, okay. those, those movies that show you the yeah. war are like, Yes. Yeah, it's horrible to right. see because it's not like, you know when you watch Paranormal Activity? Yeah. And you're like, a part of you is like, oh okay, my it's god, ghosts. it's yeah. ghosts. But war is like something that actually happens. Yes. But I could totally see you doing serious roles too. I don't see you as just I, a comedian. I would like, like to hopefully transit. I know like my path is probably, I obviously have mm -hmm. to introduce myself uh, through a comedic yeah, route. Yeah, do, do what you're good at yeah. first, for sure. But I, I love, who else? I mean, obviously Meryl Streep, the GOAT. Oh my um, god. And then I love Viola Davis and I love... Um, who else do I love? I love... I love Kate Blanchett. I love Kate Yes, Blanchett. I love Jessica so... Chastain. Has a bitch ever been ugly one day in no, her fucking life? No, never. But I remember seeing Zero Dark Thirty and being like, I'm obsessed with you. Oh, Jennifer Lawrence is probably Jennifer, my biggest. Jennifer Lawrence. That's my biggest. And I feel like you guys, I, I totally see it, but I think also, I think it's safer for us to be in part of the joke than God forbid, I'm in a movie, like a Lifetime movie, and I see the YouTube comments and like, she was so bad. Yeah, oh my God. I'd rather be, I'd rather have the balls to be bad out loud yes. and get paid for it. Yes, than, yes. Than in, be in my room and in my mind create all these scenarios that I could do. Right. For free. This is so niche, but just about Jennifer Lawrence. You know when I became obsessed with her, it wasn't for acting. She was at the Oscars for, I think it was A Frozen Ground, which was her like breakout oh, role. Oh, uh, Winter's Bone. Winter's Bone. Mm -hmm. And she was in this like Calvin Klein, do you remember? Mm -hmm. Red dress, mm -hmm. and I was watching Fashion Police at the time. Oh, Joan Rivers. Yeah. That, what are you wearing? She, she's one of my, probably my biggest, have you mm -hmm. seen her documentary? Yes. It is, um, oh my God. Women in comedy. It's Very amazing. Hard, yeah. But um, so I was watching it and they were just like dying over it. And then I was like, oh my God, she looked Amazing, and then she booked Hunger Games. Yeah. Is your girlfriend calling? Uh, oh, it's your girlfriend. Oh. <laughs> I think for me, I look up to Lucille Ball. Yeah. And I think Lucille Ball was somebody like very tormented. And uh, Carol Burnett, do you know who Carol Burnett, Burnett is? Wait, yes. yes. She was the, in the old school Annie. Yes. She was the, yes. yeah, she's hilarious. And she had her own show. And I think those two people are people that could have done more serious stuff. But Hollywood didn't let them because right. there was a time where, like, if people don't want to fuck you, it doesn't yes. matter. And do you remember what happened with Joan Rivers when she tried to take herself more seriously? She was and her she, husband committed. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, she's had a, she had a really hard life. Mm -hmm. um, but so what she, happened? She was on this talk show, if I remember correctly, and she was like the sidekick to this guy. And oh, Jimmy. Yes, I think I forget. But so uh, she, I they were like, uh, mm -hmm. they were like, you know, she was making a name for herself. You mm -hmm. know, she's not going to be his sidekick mm -hmm. forever. Mm -hmm. And. A network offered her a show and she took it. And, and they blackballed and her. And they blackballed her. And he called her up and was like, you will never work again. His name was Jimmy, I always want to say Jimmy Carter, but that's a president who I think <laughs> is still alive. Um, he was, he's, he was like the first, he was like the first uh, real talk show host and he was so toxic. And yeah, I, yeah she was like the Ross Matthews for yes, him. Yeah, you know she, I mean? was, she was hysterical. I just, God, if you have not seen her documentary, you guys. Weren't her parents deaf? Uh, I don't remember that. I think so. I think her mother was deaf. I, thi I think. I remember, I just remember like 
uh, like, and I, oh my God, she is. I really, when I win a Kennedy Center Award, shut up, let this happen. Everybody, <laughs> shut up, let me believe this. When I win it, I want you to be one of the people that uh, like do the speech or like, I remember when Teffy's YouTube had four followers. Yes. And, and we love all four of you. Wait, should we, I want you to write your question. Oh, okay. I want you to write your question. Um, let me, um, Louise, my love. Yeah, I see it, it's right here. Come in. Do you want to say hello? Say hello. <laughs> this is Louise, everyone. There we go. Beautiful hands. Beautiful hands. <laughs> Thank you. Beautiful gowns. Beautiful gowns. Okay, I think I'm go. gonna. My question's gonna be. You can make it dark. You can make it light. You can make I'm it. I'm gonna stupid. do. What's your? Has someone? Don't done? ask me. I mean, oh, okay. don't tell me. Don't ask me. Okay. Don't tell me. It's a surprise. Like um, every time we get Charles's, it's a surprise. Did you have a good time? I had a great time. Did I do okay? Yeah, you did amazing. I feel like I always forget that people are gonna see this. Thank God for editing. <laughs> You know? Yeah. Like, also, I love when people, like, in every episode, I, like, have to bleep something out. And that's, like, how you know. It's, like, a real... A real conversation. A real rock and roll time. And I'm, I feel like I'm giving, like, conservative with this. Like, the, I had a tank top under. Yes. <laughs> I, you, when I first moved to New York, I was still smoking cigarettes because... Yeah. They're delicious and terrible for you. Yeah. That's the worst part. Uh, David Sedaris, that author uh -huh. that I told you, actually has a joke that he lives in Paris now with his partner. But when he sees somebody flick a cigarette on the floor, a part of him still wants to like reach and like do the. I love it. a drunk cigarette. Oh my god! But anyway, terrible for you. Never do it. I am nicotine's bitch. Yeah. But um, what the? Oh, what was I saying? Oh, I, in New York, I remember I went up to this guy and I asked him for a lighter, and he was talking to another dude, and. I w and he threw it at me, and I was like, oh, what, what the, the fuck? fuck? They were Orthodox Jews, and I didn't know, because I was like, I'd never, and they were not supposed to like talk to you or touch you. And so they threw They're it Hasidic, at you? They're Hasidic, Hasidic. They had like the, the holy sideburns, you know what I'm talking about? Okay, but they threw, they threw it. it at me. I caught it with one hand, Yeah. and then I threw it back, and I was like, I love this game. Yeah. And then <laughs> were they expecting you to just like hit you? I would've been like, ow. No, I, I, I definitely caught it with like, oh yeah, thank yeah. you so much, and I lit it, and I was like, you guys want any? And they're like, no. Yeah. And I was like, well, have a great time. This is like on 103rd and Park. If it was you. Oh, that's you one, know? Of my, one of my friends lives. Well, Mount Sinai. <laughs> yeah. No, like by, like it's like 98th. I was such yeah. a germaphobe that I ensured that I lived next to Mount Sinai all yeah. the time. My doctors were like, you're so early for your appointment. I was like, yeah, I was just in the neighborhood. I live near um, the Columbia Hospital. Were you on the A train? Yes. Uh, I took the A to the 1 every day for school. Oh, my God. I took the A from 181st to 59th, and then I got out at 59th and got on the Uptown 1 and took that to 79th Street. Where did you move here? Um, for college. Where'd you go to 18, college? USC. For? PR. Go Trojans. Yeah. Rob Kardashian went there. I love you, Rob. <laughs> I, love so I, I got over it my junior year. I was like, yeah. I, just, I also tried PR. I was like, no, I, I was over like the whole USC to do. I, I mean, I, I had my fun senior year. I was mm -hmm. like, Victory lap, let's go. But mm -hmm. you know, it gets, it gets, you're doing, you're going out, you know. You're, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Do you know who Kelly Catron is from The Hill? Yeah, of course. That was my first boss in New York. No way. And that's where we'll end the episode. <laughs> where can people find you? <laughs> uh, Octopus Lover 8 on TikTok, two S's. Octopus with two S's, Lover 8. And then pass that puss on Instagram. Hello. Tense up. <laughs> <laughs>